Hare Krishna. While living with ourselves, one of the fundamental things that we realize is that there are forces inside us that are not in our control. There are times when we can behave in crazy ways and we wonder, why did I do that? Why did I, I speak like that, act like that? What was I thinking? Uh, was that me? We may not even be able to recognize ourselves. Why did I do that? Who did that? So we have to understand that if we consider our body and mind to be like a house, we are not the masters in our own house. That means that we are not really in charge. There are so many forces within us, so many desires which keep coming up within us. So, what can we do then? We have to understand ourselves. Okay, this is what I'm good at. This is what I'm not good at. This is how I can work. So Krishna says that the forces which arise within us, we cannot just wish them away. And he says, Nigraha kim karishyasi. So he says, what can repression accomplish? He says, Sadrasham cheshte swasya prakriter jnanavanapi prakritim yanti bhutani nigraha kim karishyasi. That we are all have strong natures that impel us to act in particular ways. And we can't resist that simply by willpower. So we are not masters in our own house. But that doesn't mean that any and every desire that comes up within us is so strong that we have to succumb to it and we have to be slaves in our own house. There are some forces which need to be managed and there are some forces which need to be countered. So that the Bhagavad Gita talks about when it states that each one of us Tayor paripanthi nau. That between the senses and the sense objects, there are the sense objects can be obstacles on the path, and we need to counter those obstacles. We need to resist them, and we need to regulate them. So by recognizing which forces we are to be managed, which forces are to be countered, we can negotiate with ourselves and pursue our life journey successfully. Thank you. Hare Krishna.